my spirit to come to me or that spirit would be as redundant or you know I never really thought about it until it happened. I wasn't in control of my own body anymore. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. In this channel, we talk about voodoo stuff. And in today's video, we are going to do a story time. I promised you guys, if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will do a special video of one of my experiences in voodoo. So I'm here to keep my promise. So this story time is going to be about when Ezili Dantor came to me. Like, she physically came to me it wasn't like in possession okay so get ready for it so as always before we go further into the video i would like to thank all of you guys all of my viewers all of my subscribers who comments my videos who likes my videos and who share my videos that really help with the youtube algorithm guys so i would not be here without you and the channel will not go further without you so thank you a lot guys so to those of you who enjoy my content but haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for okay this is already support me guys so please give me a thumbs up leave a comment share the video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that youtube may notify you whenever i upload a new video so now let's get into the story time uh, before i get to the moment um that she came to me i would like to uh get to my background and tell you uh what i was thinking what uh what were my beliefs at the moment that happened to me okay okay so I, I grew up in a very religious family and all my surrounding at that time they were like Christians you know my friends were Christians uh, people that I knew were Christians okay um, but you know growing up in Haitian culture even if you're Christian and you all you know the people you know are Christian you still hear a, a lot about voodoo because Haitians believe in voodoo, okay? Even if they're not voodooists, if even if they don't practice it, okay? Even if they're Christians, they still believe in the power of voodoo. So I would hear a lot about it, but it was still very strange to me because, you know, I didn't experience voodoo from the first hand, okay? So growing up, I was a hardcore Christian, okay? so. I believed in Jesus and all I wanted to do you know to become when I, I, I got older was to become a pastor I wanted to go everywhere and preach the gospel okay that's why when I finished high school the first thing I did was enter mission a Christian ministry okay so that I can learn more about the Bible and everything this part of my life is for another story time as I was saying I was a firm believer of Jesus so all my preoccupations you know were about the bible and were about jesus and i wanted to be a preacher and all of that okay so i didn't know about voodoo and i was interested in knowing more okay so that was my mindset at the moment okay at that time okay so now we get to the juicy part okay so i remember i used to stay up late uh, every night watching movie okay so my family would go to bed and i would be alone in the living room watching movie okay my mom didn't want me to do that but i i used to do it so there are many nights that i would fall asleep in front of the tv okay i would watch the movie and as i'm watching i would fall asleep and i would wake up in the middle of the night and go to bed or i would wake up in the morning but this one night i remember that i wasn't sleepy at all i wasn't sleepy i just entered the room the living room you know to watch my movie and then as i sat down this thing happened as i sat down i couldn't move i couldn't move any part of my body okay i couldn't move and i could not i couldn't say anything 
okay i would try to say something so that you know someone will hear me or scream so that someone will hear me and help me because i was very scared i was very afraid okay so i couldn't move and i couldn't speak i stayed there you know with my eyes wide open it was like you know i wasn't in control of my own body anymore so my eyes were wide open i couldn't move my body i couldn't say anything okay so i started saying jesus in my heart like i would say in my mind jesus 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 okay so that, because I, I was a believer okay I, I believed in jesus so saying that i thought you know that would that would help okay so as i was saying that that's when i saw this woman she entered the room she entered the room and i didn't know her and i knew immediately that that was a spirit i knew that that wasn't normal okay i knew she was a spirit i think it's because of the energy in the room that i could feel that you know that wasn't like an actual human being okay that entered the room but that was a spirit okay i could feel that but i didn't know who i didn't know which spirit okay i just felt you know i'm not okay you know i need to get out of this situation that's that's what i felt at the moment but um as she was still coming to me i could see details about her i could see you know details about her description okay the room was still dark but the tv was still on the tv was still playing okay because i was in front of the tv and she was coming to me and i saw that she she had like a very very long hair she had like dark skin i could barely see her face i couldn't see her face like clearly okay so i saw that she she had like a good style okay she looked like you know a queen okay so as she was coming to me i got more scared okay so i was repeatedly uh saying jesus in my heart or in my mind i don't know so i was saying jesus 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 to help me okay and she came closer and she sat by my side okay she sat by my side and she was kind of facing me okay so when she sat by my side that's when i felt like whoever that is she's not here to hurt me okay she's not here to hurt me she's here to talk with me no, not talk with me because she was the one doing the talking i wasn't talking so she was here to talk to me so she started talking to me she started talking she i think she like talked for three or four minutes because she just kept going okay she was talking she was talking but uh what she was saying i don't remember everything that she was saying because i was still scared okay even if uh i was kind of like okay she's not here to hurt me never lived this kind of experience before so i was still scared my heart was like beating so fast okay but i remember she said to me um that my ancestors used to serve her so she wants to have a relationship with me and she she was giving me like all the principles that i need you know to respect all the things that i need to do stuff like that okay so that situation really shocked me a lot at that time okay because i never expected it to happen okay i never expected to see uh, a voodoo spirit okay came to me i think i i expected more you know to see jesus came to me because i remember that at that time i used to pray a lot about you know i wanted to see you know, more proof of jesus i wanted you know him to talk to me to say something that you know that was like audible that wasn't like in my mind and, or for me to see him the way that i saw that spirit you know that came to me as a doctor you know and it was very weird that i never had to experience that in christianity but i experienced it you know, with that spirit okay and i didn't even expect it to happen i know for a fact that i wasn't sleeping so i wasn't dreaming okay remember the tv 
was on it was playing okay so i could see what what's happening in the tv before i sat down and while she was talking to me i could see what was happening in the tv and i could see what's happening you know after she she vanished so i wasn't sleeping okay it was like in reality and it wasn't something that i was thinking about okay that's what makes it more interesting okay so she finished talking and then she just vanished okay she just vanished and suddenly i could move and i could say something okay and i remember that i was so so sweaty like i was still scared it was very hard for me to sleep after that but what kind of impacted me the most is that she didn't tell me her name so i didn't know i didn't, we didn't know who she was okay apart that she told me like my ancestors used to serve her and keep in mind that i don't know anything like about my grandparents you know um serving any spirits because my mom is very christian my dad is very christian um the only knowledge i have is that um my mother's mom so my great mother from my mother's side she used to to be voodooist but she is not anymore she's christian now from what i heard okay so i didn't know anything about what spirits you know my ancestors or any people in my family used to serve i didn't know anything about that and after that situation i didn't tell anybody what happened okay i kept it for myself for a very long time i didn't tell my family because they are christian and i thought they would make a, such a big deal out of it you know they would make a big drama out of it so i didn't want to tell them because of that and i kept it for myself until i felt comfortable to tell some friends that identified as voodooist my story and i remember that i told my story to like four or five friends and all of them came to the same conclusion okay that the spirit that i saw she was as a little okay based on the description that i gave them and the you know what she told me now, and in my own ignorance i thought you know at that time i thought as we don't know was a man <laughs> okay based of uh what i heard i thought it was a man i didn't know m much about voodoo so it wasn't something that i expected for a spirit to come to me or that spirit would be as we don't know you know I never really thought about it until it happened and this reminds me of something that I said in a video before guys like it's not recommended you know to just hear about a spirit and you like the spirit and you say oh I'm gonna call on that spirit you know to serve that spirit or something uh, it's not recommended okay it's best you know to do a reading to know which spirit walks with you okay in order you know to have like a clear understanding about what spirit you're going to connect with okay and many of the times the spirits they 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 try to connect with us okay they try to speak with us in many other ways in many forms that we don't know that we don't really like pay attention to okay so don't expect like the spirit they would they will you know try to connect with you the way you know as we don't or did with me okay so don't expect the same because everyone we have you know our own path our own journey okay so if you have um lived this experience before the same as me uh, feel free to comment it down below i would like to hear your stories guys and um if you have you know another experience that is different feel free to tell us you know that down below too so even if my friends okay they were confirming to me that the spirit that i saw it was Ezri Dantor and that meant like Ezri Dantor she likes me and she wants me to serve her i still stayed christian for a very long time okay so 
I have a lot of story times for you guys. So this is it guys. This is one of my stories. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and share the video, please. Okay. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe now please and click the notification button so that youtube may notify you whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you speak creole stay around because i will upload uh, a video in asian creole on thursday okay it will not be the same video uh, as today okay it will be another video another subject that i will upload in asian creole on thursday day okay so thank you so much for watching take care and see you in another <laughs>